back to the YA Book Corner. I'm Nikki, your friendly neighborhood librarian here at the Sugar Lane Branch Library. And this is your one-stop spot for young adult book news, recent releases, and backlist recommendations. As ever, please keep in mind that everything we're going to be talking about today is available through the Fort Bend County Library catalog. If anything sounds interesting, just scoot on over there and put stuff on hold. In case you haven't already been made to feel completely ancient by the year we just had, uh, the series Divergent is turning 10 this year. <sighs> to celebrate, the series is being re-released with these incredible new covers. Uh, and to top it off, we're getting a ton of extra content too, from author interviews and Q&As to deleted scenes and more. Check them out when they release in the summer of 2021. Auntie Thomas's new book, Concrete Rose, a prequel to her incredible debut, The Hate You Give, came out last month. But were you aware that there's a playlist to go along with it? Thomas has been known to put together some truly banging playlists for her novels, so if you haven't gotten a chance, you could go on over to Spotify to check it out. In case you've already powered through the TV adaptations of Dash and Lily and Tiny Pretty Things, fear not, there are about a billion YA adaptations in the works. Among others, Amazon is adapting Jenny Han's The Summer I Turned Pretty, Netflix has announced that they've acquired the adorable comic Heartstopper, and The Gilded Ones, which only released this month, is headed for the big screen. I hope you have sufficient quantities of popcorn. It's February, which means it's Black History Month, and in honor of that, we're going to turn the spotlight on some fabulous Own Voices titles that have come out recently, both by established authors and authors who are making their debut. First up is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. Liz is aching to get out of Campbell, Indiana, an awkward black girl she just doesn't feel like she fits in with her rich, white, prom-obsessed classmates. She plans on keeping her head down, and the second she graduates, she's getting the heck out of Dodge, becoming a doctor, and never looking back. But when her financial aid falls through, the scholarship that comes along with being prom queen starts looking mighty good, and she's going to make her stand in order to make her dreams come true. Rue is having a rough time of it. Her mother has died suddenly and violently, and now she's being uprooted and taken away from her younger sister and her Houston neighborhood that she's always loved by a father who's never really been in her life, and also who is a god, I guess. Wings of Ebony by J.L. follows Rue as she navigates her magical heritage and learns to use her power in service to the community that she loves. You might have noticed that we've had a couple of uh, pretty big elections lately. But just because they're over, that's no reason to get complacent about voting, as one of the stars of The Voting Booth by Brandy Colbert would be happy to tell you. 18-year-old Marva is over the moon to vote in her very first election after months of pounding the pavement to register voters. By contrast, Duke just wants to get it over with. But when Duke is turned away at the poll, the pair embark on a day-long adventure to cast their ballots. Doing your civic duty has never been quite so romantic. In case you've already made it through this year's recent releases, well, I wouldn't blame you. It's cold out there. I won't go out there. Here's this month's back catalog recommendation. This month's recommendation is Akata Witch by Nettie Okorafor. Released in 2011, Akata Witch follows the story of Sunny, who lives a life of duality. She was born in America, but lives in Nigeria. She's black, but was born with albinism. After a terrifying vision, she learns about a new duality she's going to have to navigate. She lives in our world, but now must learn about her place amongst the Leopard People, a community of folks with a special connection to magic and the world of spirits. Nidio Okorafor is a well-established sci-fi and fantasy author, and her prowess shines through here. Sunny's introduction to the world of magic is intricate and detailed. If you're looking for a new spin on the classic fish-out-of-water magical fantasy story, give a Akata Witch a try. Well, that's all I've got for you this month. As ever, if you're interested in any of these titles, check them out over on our website. And if nothing else, keep warm till the next time we see ya. Keep on keeping on, folks.